you guys win, you can get to a New Year's Six Bowl coffee or orange or sugar or whatever. Has, how, how much of that has been communicated to you guys, or how, how much do you know about that, that scenario? Yeah, Coach Hypo, he stated in the team meeting on Sunday, uh, we still have a lot to play for. Uh, that's definitely a goal of ours, and, and getting 10 wins, which is something that hasn't done in a long time. So we have a lot to play for, and those are some bowl games that we're very uh, excited about getting the opportunity to play in. Brandon? Jabari, how hard did that loss hit you guys? Uh, uh, it hit us pretty hard, and the way uh, it happened probably hurt a little more. Uh, obviously, losing uh, Hendon is, you know, we were pretty emotional. But he was he's in good spirits. Uh, he was in good spirits today, which kind of gave us a little kick at practice. So, uh, but it hurt. It hurts. Patrick? Coach Michael talked about yesterday how when you guys got back in, you, you kind of still sense the, the feeling of the, the pain of the loss and what happens every night. Did you sense today at practice that that's kind of been flushed and you guys have like, moved on? Or uh, what was the energy like this morning? Uh, it was real good. It, honestly, it was a real good practice. Uh, with Joe out there, uh, full of energy, uh, had a real good practice from uh, the whole offense, the whole defense. Uh, you got to watch the last weekend away. That's the only way you can get better and focus on Vandy because they're a problem of their own. You know, they're playing high. They're playing for a bowl game. They, they're going to play hard. So uh, it's time to just focus on Vandy. And I thought today we, we responded well. Jimmy? Just a couple of things. Uh, what's the team's confidence level in the middle? We have all the confidence in the world with Joe Milton. Uh, I was talking to one of the trainers uh, yesterday uh, in practice last week when Hendon uh, was in. Uh, Joe would be right behind me while I'm in the huddle. Uh, he's preparing like he was QB1 like throughout the whole year. So he's definitely prepared for this opportunity. Uh, it was just timing, you know what I mean? He was going to get his chance. Uh, hate, to have, hate it had to be on these circumstances, but he's more than ready. And also, what do you see out of Vanderbilt's defense? Uh, they fly around to the ball, uh, very physical. They have some talented players, uh, so it's going to be a, a good test for us. What? Jabari, how, how do you all avoid something like the, what happened Saturday sort of changing some things? Because, you know, the season was going one way. Obviously, Georgia was a, was a tough loss, but, you know, for that to happen the way that it did, lopsided like that, how do you affect that just changing the mindset, changing the mood, everything? Yeah, I think uh, it, it's going to be tough, but uh, that's what champion championship teams, they do. They uh, Each player finds a different role. Uh, you know, you might have a different role now than you had at the beginning of the season. You know, somebody might go down or you may lose a little confidence from losing. Uh, but it's all about how you figure it out and how you respond to adversity. So I, I have full faith in these guys, these coaches, uh, and the staff. So I think we're responding in the right direction. Yeah, for me, uh, I was real emotional, so I didn't know how to – I could barely look at him sometimes uh, on Saturday. But to see him smiling, that just made me happy. You know, he's a warrior. We know what type of person Hennon is. Uh, he may be even even better person off the field than he is on the field. So uh, I was just happy to see him uh, happy and in good spirits. And he was lead, he was also leading to that practice. So just uh, the utmost respect for him and, and everything he's done for me and, and the team and this program. Uh, I guess you could say monumental, kind of. Uh, he's, I mean, he's done a lot in a short span while he's been here. Uh, in the way he touches people off the field, just in the way he moves and, and his actions, he's always uh, a caring person. Uh, when he, he's had success, uh, he's handled it very well. And you know his, his story and where he come from and how much he had to sacrifice and how much ups and downs he had to go through. So I, I go to him from it for advice all the time. So, uh, you know. Definitely my family. Uh, you know, I miss my family. Uh, they made me who, who I am today. Uh, definitely thankful for my teammates. Uh, we, I go grind with those guys every day. My coaches, they give us the best opportunity uh, every Saturday to go win. Uh, so the people I'm around every day, I'm thankful for them. Uh, they make it a healthy environment uh, every day for us to come into the facility and be our best. Take two more, man. We'll take you here first. Jabari, two quick things. How is the camaraderie between the offense and the defense? I mean, there was times earlier this year where the D 
defense kind of helped you guys out. Mm -hmm. and obviously, there's been some the other way around. How are you guys interacting with each other? Uh, I think it's good. You know, we're one team, uh, offense, defense. Yeah, we play different positions, different sides of the ball, but we just Tennessee, honestly. Uh, we kind of sense when uh, somebody needs to pick up the slack, if that's the case. Uh, but for the most part, we know we got to play as one and try to be dominant each and every time we're on the field, whether it be offense or defense. And you had a, a really nice touchdown run last week. Take us through that play. Um, really, uh, just it was we were going off tempo, so they really weren't set, I think. But I was just trying to uh, make a play uh, and try to make make people miss. Last, last question. Or, you know, when y'all when you get used to winning and then you lose a little bit, things can kind of get difficult. How do y'all make sure that in the locker room behind the scenes everybody's kind of pulling in the same direction? I think that's the most important thing, just making sure uh, the locker room is good, um, making sure we all uh, know how to respond from it because everything's not going to go well. You're going to hit adversity, but that's what defines a person, a man, a team, is how you respond from adversity. Uh, everything's not always going to be well. So I think uh, the leaders uh, may have to step up uh, that – I mean, Hinder's gone, uh, not playing on the field with us. He's still there. But other people are going to have to raise their level uh, of play and, and uh, execution. Thanks, Jabari.